March can be a very changeable month. Earlier in the month, we actually saw almost spring-like conditions uh, with a good deal of sunshine, and many places recording the warmest temperature of the year so far at around 15 degrees Celsius. But over the next few days, we are going to see a change to much colder weather. If we have a look on the screen, what we've got here is a map of uh, temperature in the lower part of the atmosphere. Um, the UK is roughly in the centre of the screen here, and the temperatures range from the dark red values in North Africa through yellow through much of Southern Europe, the green values through much of Europe, and then as we go to the north, we see the, the colours turn blue, and this represents the very cold air. Now, at the moment, the UK is in the green and yellow, which has given us the recent sort of quite spring-like conditions, but this bluer air in the north is going to make progress towards the UK. If I just step through the sequence and you keep your eye on this very cold air, it very quickly starts to push south through Norway and Sweden, and then it moves across the sort of North Sea. Near the UK, we have um, a front which could actually generate some rain that could turn to snow as the cold air engages the front. You could see by this stage in the early hours of Monday that the uh, temperature has dropped quite markedly over the British Isles and uh, this line of temperature gradient, which we say is a front, um, the rain on that could well turn to snow on the back edge. But by Monday itself, the cold air really has arrived and particularly over the southern North Sea, uh, it will be particularly cold. Uh, at the moment, sea surface temperatures in the southern North Sea are not particularly high. They're around sort of four or five degrees Celsius. And what this means is places on the East Anglian coast could see temperatures barely above freezing by the time we get to Monday because they'll receive, this air, cold air will receive very little warming as it crosses the North Sea. So a temperature of, of one degree Celsius contrasting with about 15 degrees Celsius earlier in the month.